bro, you're going to a comedy show. Like, come on. Yeah, you're, you're going to a comedy show. Like, you're going to be offended. I'm sorry. I give credit where credit is due. I'm probably the most pro anti Trump comic out there. You know why I saw this? Because I saw it on No Jumper and they were like, fellas, is this guy racist? And like, no, I don't think he's racist. He's a comedian who's being heckled and he's being heckled by a black woman, but I don't think he says anything racist. There. That no, month. You're not funny. Shut the f up! Oh, you shut the f up. As a white guy trying to talk to black people, I'm no, not. Bitch, no, you're not. What are you upset about? It's not me. No, and shut up. Any black person that tried to laugh at his Nope. No, no, a white person trying to make fun of black people. See, now you're crying, and we, I was just trying to make you laugh. No, don't do that. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you a bitch. <laughs> Why do you think I'm doing this for a living? You think I was a football player? I'm a bitch, go ahead, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was pretty funny. Like, he's, I think he did a pretty good job of, like, like, she's clearly drunk. Uh, I think he did a pretty good job of, like, making the joke himself when he realized that she's being, like, a little hysterical and, and did a decent black scent, though. Mother he's a half black. But regardless, like, he didn't even, he didn't even do anything aggressive there. Shut up. <laughs> There's nothing you can say to me. I haven't said six inches from the mirror. <laughs> Have a good night, Kamala Harris. <laughs> Now's the time I need you on my side. No, no, that was like the person that she's with is like literally trying to get him out of there. The most racist joke ever. No, no. I, I, I got no, like four more no, in the chamber. No, no. <laughs> Did I say anything racist? Oh, that was, oh, that was. This is Brian. Brian is my one Asian friend. Oh, never mind, it's not. That's not racist. It would be racist if I had no Asian friends. What are you doing to stop Asia hate? Beats the more funny than racist allegations is fine. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was funny. I, I thought he did a good job. Like, so she was mad that he was pro anti Trump. Apparently, it was a joke about his dog Cupcake, something like my dog loves people but hates other dogs. If I'd known when I got him that he hated his own kind but loved his oppressors, I would have named him Clarence Thomas. That's what she got mad at. See, this is why you can't do politics in comedy. Like, it's, I mean, it's a good joke, but it's like, it's just, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of haters on that. Especially if you're like a super white passing half black dude, you know, we're gonna come after to you for that um because anyone who understands that reference is like politically brain rotted and anyone who's politically brain rotted will use not laughing at jokes as like a marker for how uh you know how good they are at being political uh the kamala harris joke was like the least funny joke out of everything he said i think the best part was i'm a bitch i'm a comedian like i'm not a football player i think that that was really good he deflected it so expertly you know what i mean like he he did a such a good way to that was such a good way to f diffuse the situation it shows wit especially when you're like especially when you're like getting f blasted ladies and gentlemen make some noise for the richest man in the world <laughs> cheers and booze i see we're expecting this were you Oh man. It is funny that even people that still go to Dave's show don't like Elon. Yeah, Dave is a, a mega cuck for f still sucking up to Elon when, like, in any other circumstance, old Dave, new Dave, every f version of Dave, regardless of the transphobia, would literally just absolutely ruthlessly eviscerate Elon Musk, a character worthy of such uh, evisceration. Uh, Steven Crowder tr attempted to do stand-up, which, you know, one of my favorite genres. Let's take a look. This is a commercial for Walther that never made air. This is true. So, okay, this is the commercial. So, it starts with Hitler. <laughs> and in this bunker, and you can hear bombs going off, and Ava Braun is knocking at the door. She's like, quick, quick, mein Fuhrer. He's like, bitch, I'm trying to focus. <laughs> and she's like, but quick, the allies are almost upon you. And he's like, they'll never take me alive. So he looks at his desk, he has a cyanide pill, a hammer, and a wolfer. Picks it up, blows his brains out, end card, wolfer, the gun that killed Hitler. And Walther, they're very generous, but they said absolutely not. Uh, and he and I said, that's fair. This is a 
that's his best bit. I mean, it's like, it, it, it's at least it's a joke. Like, structurally, it's a joke. You know what I mean? He's very stiff, but I'm showing your stream to my dying grandma right now. Bro, this will only accelerate the process. Don't do that. Concept is good. Terrible delivery. I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, this is like a, like a 5 out of 10, okay? It's a 5 out of 10, all things considered. So that's actually a 10 out of 10 for Steven Crowder, who is incapable of even like delivering uh, or coming up with a what you would consider to be a joke, both structurally and in general. I think that is, he handled it super well. Respect, you know? That guy just did the comedy version of Jeet Kune Do using the op opponent's momentum against them by taking that lady's heckle jab and turning it into a self-deprecation joke for laughs. No, I mean, that's how you deal with, you deal with hecklers usually by f***ing uh, shitting on them. And I think it's oftentimes, like, valid to do that. Hey, wait, wait. Those of you booing. <laughs> They're still booing hard. Oh, brother. Oh, they're booing oh, extra yeah, hard. Like, I, 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 but I, I, you know, there's one thing. All those people are booing, and I'm just, I'm just pointing out the obvious. They have terrible seats. I don't understand. <laughs> what do you say? All coming from way up there, nigga. The last. Oh, the poor seats. The poor seats are booing. Dave Chappelle riding for Elon after he got booed is like Kanye West like shitting on his mom moment almost. Like seeing Dave Chappelle become more and more transphobic is not all that surprising. But seeing Dave Chappelle actually defend against booze, defend his friend Elon Musk against like an entire f***ing stadium full of people that paid at the minimum $250 to see him. Woo! However, um, he didn't even do that. He actually did it into a self-deprecating manner. Like, you don't usually see that. Oftentimes, people consider that to be valid, I think. Bro, you're going to a comedy show. Like, come on. You're going to a comedy show. Like, you're going to be offended. I'm sorry. That's why it's like everybody in here understands and laughed at and Elon Musk when uh, Elon was trying to make it seem like there were woke people in the crowd, you know? Like, people, people, were, people were upset. Like, dude, it's a Dave Chappelle show. No one is woke there. Uh, technically it was 90% cheers, um, 10% booze, except during quiet periods. But still, that's a lot of booze, which is a first for me in real life, frequent on Twitter. Um, it's almost as if I've offended, um, San Francisco's unhinged leftists, but nah, which is literally the most in copium. Dude, this level of copium, this level of copium is nuclear grade, okay? This is like, this level of copium, this is an event that changes the course of history type uh, explosive copium. Oh, yeah, uh, they were uh, booing me, but uh, only 10%. Mm -hmm. This would break a Geiger uh, counter. Yeah, this would be so high on the scale of copium that the Geiger counter would not be able to, it would loop back around and then mother be like, oh, it's a 3.58 rent gun. Uh, not good, not bad. You know, that kind of thing. I mean, how the f***? Dude, there is nothing better. There is nothing better than an immediate reaction from a crowd just being like, you f suck, dude. You f suck ass. F you. Nobody cares. yourself. That's precisely what happened here.